Hello again, this is just a real quick tutorial to show you how to add uh, some offline files or additional PST files to your, uh, to your Google Apps Sync account. So um, we've already installed the utility Google Apps Sync. So we're going to go into All Programs, click on Google Apps Sync, and this time, instead of setting up a new user, we're going to import data to Google Apps Sync. When we click on that, it's going to ask us for our email address. So I'm going to once again put in my email, uh, my email address, and same as before, we get our request for permission. We're going to click Allow. That has been successfully granted, and now we need to um, where uh, we need to pick our PST file. So uh, we click on the we click on the little arrow over here. Click on from a PST file, and we need to navigate to the location of that file. Now in our district, uh, you're going to have a folder in your documents called um, it is going to be called Outlook folders. I don't see it on on mine, um, but this is it'll it'll be a file that looks kind of like this one. Um, so when you click on that to uh, to open it. Um, it's going to you want to you want to pull in everything. That's totally fine. We want to import only data that has not been imported previously. We click next, and then um, I want to send it to that training account. And now it starts the migration process. Depending on the number of messages that you have in there, this could take an incredibly long time. You'll notice right here I have over 46,000 messages on this, and it's going about one per second. So if you uh, if you extrapolate that out, that calculates into a very long time. Um, so you're going to want to set this up at a time when you can let your computer sit for a while. Uh, it does not need to be on site or in district. Uh, it can be anywhere that you have internet access. That part of it doesn't matter um, because the file is just getting sent up to Google. However, it does take quite a bit of time. So do keep that in mind when you are setting these things up. As it goes then, what ends up happening is it puts it directly into your inbox in your uh, in your mail. So we'll see right here, I've got all of these messages back from 2011, and it puts it right into my inbox. Now, once this whole process gets done, if you don't want those things in your inbox, then you can just click on this little box right up here that says select, and that's going to select everything. And if you have more than, um, if you have more than uh, 50 messages that display on here at a time, what you'll do is you'll just, there will be a little box that will pop up here that says, um, that says select all however many messages there are. And then if you click on archive, that moves them out of your inbox and into this all mail folder right over here. So um, it helps to helps to keep yourself a little bit more organized um, to put everything to put everything over there, and then your inbox stays clutter free. So there's our there's our process for importing additional content uh, that are offline files and our offline storage into Gmail from Outlook.